Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from Free Dreams 106 channel. Welcome to a new video dedicated to Uforge, in which we go over a very interesting topic, artificial intelligence. For those of you who don't know what Uforge is, I leave above the link to the playlist from zero to Uforge that I've dedicated to this software on my channel. So today we'll take a look at how to use artificial intelligence to generate images to process with Uforge. Since I'm not very good at drawing, I have a lot of fun with AI to create beautiful images to 3D print. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite tools, how to use it, and I, want, I will also reveal some tricks to get the best possible results. So, let's cut the chase and get into it. So, here we are at the computer to take a look at this uh, artificial intelligence. I want to make a small premise. There are a lot of software out there that can allow you to create images. I want to show you one of my favorites that uh, I think will allow you to have a lot of fun. So let's get right into it and take a look at this website which is called Hotpot AI. I will leave the link below so you can easily find it. As you can see, it is uh, uh, divided into two areas, we can uh, call them. The first one is this column on the left, which is uh, um, about the prompt and the settings that we can modify. And this entire right area is where all the images that we generate will appear. There are two main reasons that I really love this software. First of all, it's free and you'd, you don't even need a registration. You can generate up to 75 images per day. And the second one is that there are so many styles that you can try that are awesome in my opinion. So let's try this software and take a look at what I'm talking about. This area is for the prompt, which is the instruction that we give to the artificial intelligence to, um, to specify what we want to generate. You don't need to write generate an image of blah blah blah. You can directly uh, write what the subject is that you want for your picture. For example, let's create a simple prompt, city on a lake. And obviously, the more specific you are, uh, the more characteristics you can uh, give to your image. So you can see right there the first picture that the AI has generated. It's really cool in my opinion and it has a realistic uh, style. As you can see uh, it's generated in a squared format, one to one, and you can change the ratio right there, but uh, remember that those options are paid to use. So they are part of the premium plan. I have never used them, honestly. <laughs> so if you want them, you can uh, upgrade your plan. But now let's take a look at the styles, which are the most exciting part, in my opinion. In fact, can you see all these uh, little images right there? These are these effects that we can apply to our images. If we click on see styles, there's the entire list of options that we can choose from. 
you can try all of them and have some fun but I want to show you some of my favorites for example the Japanese art is beautiful in my opinion and you will see that it creates these Japanese like landscapes or the um, steampunk is really really nice in my opinion which will give uh, like an industrial vibe to the photo if you like these styles uh, uh, this style of illustration uh, it's really nice and there are also uh, styles inspired by famous artists for example Van Gogh which is really one of my favorites because it's amazing. Take a look at the result. How cool is that? So you can have really a lot of fun with this software and generate beautiful images. And if you want, you can also give it a seed image that it will use for reference and set a likeness level. So if you want the AI to make uh, the picture really really similar to your reference uh, or uh, just a tiny bit so before i share with you the three tricks uh, to gain to obtain the best results with artificial intelligence and uforge let me share with you three images that i've done uh, and printed with uforge that i've generated with autopot ai in particular, I generated a landscape with a bell tower, one with a clock tower, and one with a windmill. I didn't want a realistic style, but rather a bit <laughs> psychedelic, a very colorful uh, one. So I took the opportunity to try some of the new Sanlu filaments. Look how beautiful those colors are. This orange, yellow, and magenta are super saturated, but can we take a moment to look at this PLA galaxy? Do we want to talk about it? If you're looking for some new filaments, I really recommend you check out Sanlu New Filaments New Line, because they have so many crazy shades. Let me show you the prints that I've made with these spools. For this one of the bell tower, I decided to uh, go with green, orange, yellow, and bone white. And the result is really nice. The image with this uh, style of illustrations goes very well with these colors, in my opinion. For the clock tower, on the other hand, I opted for the uh, magenta and the PLA galaxy. And the result is really exciting. The effect of the galaxy filament really gives an extra touch to this print. What do you think? By the way, let me know below in the comments if you would like a dedicated video on how to do UForge with special filaments, because I've been thinking about it for a while. For the windmill, finally, I've combined all the colors except for the uh, green, and I must say that the effect is wholesome. Let me know down in the comment which one is your favorite. I think the windmill is mine. But now let's turn to the three tricks to get beautiful prints by combining UForge and artificial intelligence. The first one is to use an image upscaler. What is this thing? It's a software that will go to improve the quality of the image we have. In fact, the resolution of the photos produced by Otpot is not very high. So the result is a very blurry and unpleasant image. So before we import our image inside UForge, let's go through this website. You can see how much different there is. I leave you the link below to this tool as well, which is also free. Another piece of advice I want to give you, which actually applies to all you forge prints, not just those with artificial intelligence, is make sure your filament isn't wet so you can avoid stringing. I admit that uh, 
out of laziness, uh, out of uh, rush of wanting to send UFORGE uh, projects to print, I too forget to dry my spools well before loading them on the printer. And the result is uh, stringing, ruining a beautiful print. Of course, you can use whatever dryer you have at home. I lately have been using a lot the Sunlu Fila Dryer E2 that we saw in a previous video, and especially the Sunlu SP2 because it is a very convenient function. In fact, the SP2 is a dryer with the base that can be separated from the top container. So if you dry the spools in one unit, you can then move the dryer to another container, keeping the first filaments dried away from moisture. This is a really genius feature and I uh, forgot to mention that Soundo is celebrating his uh, 12th anniversary, so there are a lot of discounts on their website in case you want to stock up. Now, let's conclude with the last trick I want to share with you to get the best results with artificial intelligence. And it's about the reference image. As I mentioned earlier, you can upload a, an image that Hotpot will use as a reference. The only thing you'll have to pay attention to, in case you use this feature, is to not set the similarity too high, because this site will not process the request correctly. Try to stay between 0.2 and 0.4 to get the best images. You can also request the photo multiple times by going and changing the similarity just a little, so you can find the result you like best. Well, so that's all I want to tell you about using artificial intelligence with UForge. Let me know below in the comments if you have already used this tool to generate images. And in the meantime, if you like this video, you might also like these ones.